braving that day or night when the work actually does get rewarded with the, the validation of victory? Yeah, with the, with the win, that'd be nice for our group, you know, even our staff, all our members and supporters, that, that, that ultimate outcome of, uh, of getting a win would be great. Um, at the same time, as John's saying, it's, it's also very rewarding to see your young players developing. Um, and we've seen a fair bit of that this year where we've, we've had some young guys really step up, first-year players, second-year players. Um, it was actually uh, it was, it was quite enjoyable watching Sydney and, and where they've got to and the way they performed on the weekend. So it's a rough start. There's sort of no dancing around it. How are you, how are you dealing with it? Um, do you feel the, the pressure to get a win? Um, look, we're dealing with it reasonably well. I mean, it's, as I said, it's, it's tough for our supporters, our members. It's tough for our players. Obviously, when you, you know, you're 0-12, um, it's not something you look at at the start of the season and you, and you expect to be in that position. Uh, it's been, uh, you know, a challenging year. There's been so many challenges thrown at us from, um, you know, as, as has every side, from a training point of view, from how we implement a new game plan. Um, we've got a plan that we're going to stick to. Um, you know, part of that plan involves us uh, aggressively pushing some of our youth. Um, you know, we believe from what we've seen across the years, it's important for us to do that. Uh, we've seen clubs in the same position we're in at the moment and, you know, within, you know, a number of years be able to get back right back up to the top and compete. So we're confident that our plan's right. Um, what we, we are experiencing at the moment is some short-term pain, which no one wants to go through. And <laughs> it'd be great for us to get that, that ultimate, uh, that outcome and get a win, as you said. Very briefly, can I just talk about the game style? Because it's, it was, the game style would move, I suppose, week to week or parts of it, it would it'd tinker. Is there a need now, Matty, to, to in, put in a, a defence-first system to finish this season? Because these blowouts of 50, 60, 70, 80 points, they're not good for the players, they're not good for you, they're not good for the fans you're just talking about. Do you just have to take stock for the next four, month and a half and say, right, we're going to base our game on grit and fight and defence? Yeah, we, well, I mean, it's a conversation we've had over the last few months and um, it's not always the case that what, what is shown on game day is exactly the way you want to go about it. We, we base a lot of our, um, our philosophies and our values around that, um, you know, committing to the contest. Um, unfortunately, we, we can't put our hand up at the moment and say we're giving that. So, um, you know, we are about defence. We're working on that. It's a work in progress. It's probably one of the hardest um, things to work on at this point in time with a number of the protocols, you know, not being able to use body work in full um, training sessions with the full group. We are able to work on offence. We're seeing um, we're seeing some improvement in offence, no doubt. Um, but it's not it's not as though we go into, you know, every week or every fortnight and work on only one thing. We're constantly trying to work on all the different aspects of the game. But um, your point's spot on. We do want to compete. Um, there's no doubt about it. So we'll, we'll put our we'll put our heads down now and go to work and we want to be competitive. And we've got probably no bigger challenge than what we've got coming up this weekend in Geelong.